Eruption imminent which active volcanoes are most likely to erupt next and how many are there in the world. Monitoring increased sulfur dioxide levels and seismic activity can show scientists that an eruption is likely soon. It's hard to say exactly how many volcanoes there are on Earth, but at least 1,500 are known to have erupted in the past 10,000 years. From these active volcanoes, there will be 50 to 70 eruptions each year. Knowing precisely when a volcano will erupt is next to impossible. But telltale signs, like increased sulfur dioxide levels and seismic activity like small earthquakes can indicate that an eruption is likely in the near future. So should you be planning your holidays around eruptions? These are the volcanoes that are likely to erupt next. L. Doing Yelengui, Tanzania Tanzanian volcano L. Doing Yelengui, known to the mess people as Mountain of God, is showing signs of an imminent eruption. In June 2016, scientists placed five sensors around the 7,650 ft tall peak, and eight months later, the team saw a shudder in the data from one such monitor. This movement suggests the volcano is not only merely rumbling, but that parts of it are lifting forward, meaning an eruption is on the cards in the near future. Not only could this be catastrophic for local villages, but it could wipe out a historic site nine miles away and it named the Dance Hail, which has a collection of 400 human footprints dating back 19,000 years. Mount Aegunj, Bali officials have warned that an eruption off Mount Aegunj on the tourist island of Bali, Indonesia, is imminent with the active volcano in a critical phase. Increasingly frequent tremors have been recorded amid a spike in volcanic activity. While Bella Governor Omade Mantposica has declared a state of emergency, which has now been extended to October the 16th. Indonesia's Center for Volcanology and Geological Hazard Mitigation, PVMBG, and the Geology Agency of the Ministry of Energy and Mineral Resources, ESM, warned all the signs show the potential for eruption is still high. The volcano last erupted in 1963 killing more than 2,000 people. Ekla, Iceland enemy for many remember the chaos to air travel caused by Ejaf Jalahokal's eruption in 2010 as one of the most intensely volcanic countries on Earth. Iceland suffers from major eruptions every three to seven years. The last big eruption was in 2010, when air travel across Europe was brought to a six-day standstill by a huge cloud of volcanic ash when Ejaf Jalahokal erupted, costing the European economy four pounds per own. The next time could be even worse, with scientists warning Ekla, known as the Gateway to Hell, could be next. The volcano has erupted approximately once every 10 years since 1970, but has lain dormant since February 2000. This long period of inactivity is especially worrying, given it now has a higher internal pressure than before the past two eruptions, and is building up magma. The risk is now so great that last year, Professor Einarsen of the University of Iceland warned an Icelandic news agency that people must stay away from the volcano, which is popular with hikers in the summer. But, even if visitors take heed of the advice and avoid the volcano, there is little that can be done about the 2230 planes which fly over Ekla every day. Kettler, Iceland enemy 4, dormant for 99 years, researchers fear Icelandic volcano Kettler could erupt soon just north of Ekla, scientists have long been keeping their eyes on the volcano's big sister Kettler. Kettler's last eruption was 99 years ago in 1918, the longest it's been dormant since the 1100s. Of Kettler's past 10 eruptions, 8 took place between September and November, when its thawed glacial melting creates the necessary conditions for magma to burst forth. It is this glacial ice, hundreds of meters thick, that most worries locals about an eruption. Should such an explosion happen, the ice covering the volcano will melt, flooding the surrounding areas so severely that authorities have plans in place to evacuate Iceland's entire southern coast. Cumbria, Asia, Canary Islands The island of La Palma was robbed by dozens of earthquakes in 48 hours, sparking fears its volcano Cumbria, the Asia could be about to blow. More than 40 mini-quakes were recorded over the weekend of October 7 to 8, measuring between 1.5 and 2.7 on the Richter scale. The latest tremors sparked panic across the La Palma's 86,000 residents, with volcano experts labeling the tremor activity as a seismic swarm. The last time the volcano erupted was in 1971 but La Palma is considered to be the most active island in the Canary Islands. Mornoo, Hawaii. Hawaii's biggest volcano Mornoo hasn't been active in the past 33 years. The world's biggest active volcano Mornoo, the largest of the five volcanoes that make up Hawaii, has been a cause of concern for geologists over the past few years. 
Mornao usually erupts quite regularly, doing so ten times in the 20th century. But the last eruption was in 1984, and the subsequent 33-year period of inactivity is the longest the volcano has been quiet in at least 150 years. Since 2013, Mornao has been slowly rumbling back to life, with data showing increasingly frequent small earthquakes. This heightened seismic movement sparked concern, and in September 2015 its volcano alert level was raised from normal status to advisory. The biggest eruption of the volcano over the past century occurred in 1950, and lasted for 23 days. Although nobody died, 376 million cubic meters of lava poured down the volcano's sides, reaching the sea within four hours and destroying a village.